Hey y'all, it's Ashley Bookishram and I'm back with another video. Today I am going to be talking about my Panelathon TBR. So Panel Panelathon is a readathon that is being hosted by Natalie, Justin, and Shay, and I'll link all of their channels down below. And it's running from May 20th to May 27th. And basically it is a readathon where we focus on reading comics, graphic novels, and manga, which is definitely my type of readathon because if you know anything about me, you know that those are some of my favorite types of books to read. So there are a long list of challenges but graphic novels comics and manga usually don't take long to read so it's great to see that they have had um, so many challenges listed and there's also some extra ways to complete challenges as well which I will talk about once I go over the basic channels or challenges not channels so let's go ahead and get started challenge number one is to read one comic one graphic novel and one manga um, this is really interesting because I've seen a lot of TBRs and people don't necessarily understand the difference between a comic, um, a graphic novel, and manga. When I think manga, I think um, Japanese comic books. When I think comic book, I think of stories that have been released in single issues. You can find them in trade pack paperbacks, but the trade paperbacks are not one complete story. They're part of... Um, a huge arc within a story, whereas a graphic novel has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So it's complete in its entirety, or it's complete in one bind up. I hope that makes sense. I'm planning to make another video um, discussing the difference between comics and graphic novels and possibly giving some examples. I do already have a video like that, so I'll leave that down in the description box as well. And hopefully, that'll give some idea of what um, maybe our three hosts were saying when they did list these three as an option for a challenge. Challenge number two is to read a um, comic book, graphic novel, or manga that's outside of the big three. The big three is typically listed as DC, Marvel, and Image, but Viz Media is also up there with the number of sales, and if I'm not mistaking, I think they might actually sell more than all three of them, and in that I would also include Vertigo because Vertigo is an imprint of DC so I just tried to stay away from all of those and I selected The Hidden Witch by Molly Knox Oster Ostertag. This is the same author of The Witch Boy which I do have coming in at my local library and I was hoping it would come in sooner but um, I may still end up reading it if I have enough time for this readathon. And basically this is about a young boy who has begged his parents to be able to go through witch training and they finally allow him to do so. And he is learning from his grandmother but they kind of make an exchange in order for him to learn. He has to help his great uncle who is not very kind. Um, and then he finds out that his friend Charlie actually has kind of like a spirit or shadow following him, which means that some dark magic has occurred, which is against their rules. So he kind of has to figure out where that dark spirit is coming from and who's breaking um, the rules. And he has to rely a lot on his family. This is an example of a graphic novel. It has a beginning, a middle, and end. And it is a middle grade graphic novel which you will see a lot within my list. Challenge number three is to read a graphic memoir or a graphic novel based on true events. And for that, I have chosen I Was Their American Dream, a graphic memoir. And this is by Malaka Gar Garib. I know I just butcher that. But this is just kind of her story growing up as being half Filipino and half Egyptian and kind of navigating those questions that she typically gets when people ask, well, what are you? And she tries to explain that, you know, I'm half Filipino, I'm half Egyptian, but I feel more Filipino because I actually grew up in the Philippines and this is where I spend most of my time. But then I do go to Egypt during the summer to spend a lot of time with my dad, who is a Muslim. So very complex background and I'm really interested in checking this one out. I like that the artwork is all done in red, white, and blue, which goes back to the title, which is I Was Their American Dream. Challenge number four is to read a title with LGBTQIA plus characters. And I do not have a physical copy of this comic, but I will be reading Bingo Love. And this is the story of two women who actually fall in love in the 1960s when they go to a church bingo. But of course, due to society pushback from the church and their families, they end up separating themselves. And then they meet again when they get older and they make some daring 
decisions, which I am absolutely here for. I have heard nothing but great things about Bingo Love. Um, I actually was at a conference on Friday and we talked about how we can better represent LGBTQIA plus materials in public libraries. So it's great that we actually were talking about the title and this readathon came up and I was like, great, I could definitely read Bingo Love. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading that one. Challenge number five is to read a book where the characters go on a fantastical journey and I interpreted this a little different and you'll see what I mean when I hold up the book but I think it is in its own way a insight to some characters that are going on a fantastical journey. So the book I chose for this challenge is Akisi Tale of Mistress by Abuya and Sapin and this is the same author who wrote Aya and I don't know if anybody's ever read those but I have written full reviews on all of the volumes in Aya, which I thought was just a phenomenal um, series, and I'll leave the links to my actual blog post and reviews of those down below. But this is the story of um, Akisi and her friends and how they cause mischief as they're growing up on the Ivory Coast, and I think this is going to be great. I really have always loved this artwork because the artwork was the same way in Aya, and I just really just grew attached to it. This is also another children or middle grade graphic novel. Challenge number six is to read a single issue and I actually have two single issues and I don't know anything about them at all whatsoever but they've been on my shelf for a while and I haven't read it so I thought this is the perfect time to read them. The first one is Another Castle by Andrew Wheeler and Paulina Gonache. Gonache. I'm awful at pronouncing names but I thought that the artwork in this one just the cover alone was absolutely gorgeous. Um, just beautiful. I have no idea what it's about but Hopefully in a wrap up or a vlog I can tell you guys what it's what it's about. The second one that I have here is Super Zero issue number one. Once again, not sure what this is about, but it looked interesting enough and I definitely want to mark these as red because they've been sitting on my shelf for forever. The next challenge is to read a new to you creator. So I chose the manga The Ancient Magus Bride by Koryama. Zaki and I have heard a lot about this. I actually watched the first episode of the anime and really enjoyed it so I thought I would actually pick up the manga since it's been sitting on my shelf for forever and it is I think I think her name is Cheesy Hattori and she's an orphan and she gets purchased by this not human mage and he's supposed to train her but I think she is supposed to be his bride but not now because she's so young but I think he's training her and then eventually he'll marry her but I'm just really interested in seeing where this story is going to go. Challenge number eight is to read five chapters of a webcomic and for this I decided to choose um, Heartstopper by Alice Osman or Osman. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. And this has been getting a lot of buzz. A lot of people read it when it was a webcomic, but it recently just got published um, into an actual bind up. And it's about two guys who end up in the same class. One who is a year younger, I think he's year 10, and the other guy is year 11. The guy who's year 10 um, is kind of not all the way together. He has a boyfriend, but his boyfriend doesn't really want to meet him in public but then he meets this guy in year 11 and he starts to fall for him and he thinks he doesn't have a chance but from the blurb it seems like love can happen in unexpected ways so I'm really looking forward to reading this one I've heard nothing but great things about it since its release. Challenge number nine is to read a selection from your favorite genre and some of my favorite genres of graphic novels or comics just happen to be like superheroes. I, I read a lot of non-superheroes but I do like superhero comics as well so I decided to choose um, The Unstoppable Wasp and this is volume number one Fix Everything. Now this from my understanding is not the original Wasp. Um, Janet Dine is the original Wasp and this follows um, Nadia and she runs um, a group of scientist girls in an organization and she has the backing of the original Wasp but there's this new organization that's come around and they're posing a threat and they're trying to figure out who runs this organization, what are their intentions, um, and where did they come from. So I'm really interested in just checking this out. I just saw it at the library and I thought I would pick it up. Um, I may not understand everything that's going on in it because of the fact that this is not the original Wasp but we'll see. I'll figure something out. but. Besides that, I think it's going to be great. Challenge number 10 is to read the host pick or a host pick. Um, and I, for this challenge, I'm actually going to go into the extra challenges. But for this challenge, just in case I don't get to extra challenges, I chose to read Blackbird, which is Justice pick. And I just, the cover in itself was beautiful and it deals with 
magic and kidnapping and it just looked like it was going to be a phenomenal phenomenal selection and it looked like it was fairly new so I decided to go for that one. As I said before there are extra challenges that you can complete so I've already picked out a TBR for the extra challenges just in case I do finish that sack. Like I said y'all I'm not in school anymore. Um, I am working full time but comic books and graphic novels and manga are usually the easiest thing for me to read so I wouldn't be surprised if I do end up being able to finish my sack and then participate in the extra challenges. So I did pick up the TBR and the first of the extra challenges is to read all of the host picks. So I will already be reading one and that is um, Blackbird, which is Jess's pick. But then I will be reading Honey So Sweet, which is Shay's pick and then also Space Boy, which is Natalie's pick. Next extra challenge is to read a work with 300 pages or more. And for that, I chose a, another middle grade um, graphic novel, and it is Fake Blood by Whitney Gardner. And this is about a young boy who comes back to school and finds that he hasn't really matured and doesn't really look the same as his classmates anymore. He feels like he's kind of behind and he's in love essentially or has feelings for this girl but she's very obsessed with vampires and doesn't really want to give him the time of day. So they're going on a field trip to Transylvania and he decides that he wants to get her attention by dressing up like a vampire and then come to find out she's a slayer. So that's why she's so obsessed with vampires. So now he kind of has to navigate his way around that. I'm really interested in this one. It seems like it's going to be fantastic. I do like children's graphic novels. I just don't get to read them as often as I feel like I should. And this one comes in at a little over 330 pages. So it is a chunky one and I definitely hope that I do get the chance to read it. The next extra challenge is to read a recommendation for your comic book store and Comic book, comic book stores around here are kind of sparse, so I just went with a recommendation um, just from someone at the library, and they recommended Just Jamie by Terry Libinson, and she has written two other ones that are like this called Invisible Emmy and Positively Izzy. They're not in a series, but they're kind of designed in the same way where they're written about middle school girls who kind of tackle some tough issues. This one, Just Jamie, deals with the fact that Jamie is finding that she doesn't really fit in anymore and that there are girls who are kind of making fun of her um, because she's not as popular and she still thinks that she has her best friend, but her best friend seems to think that um, Jamie is still acting too babyish and she doesn't fit in with the popular kids and she doesn't even want to know or she doesn't even know if um, she wants to be best friends with Jamie anymore. So some typical things that you see um, occur in middle school. So hey y'all so I'm sorry about that. I battery completely died and I don't really remember what I was saying as it would <laughs> as it died but I know I was talking about just Jamie and that I would be using this as a recommendation for the extra challenges that are part of Panelathon. The last extra challenge is to read a new genre and for that I decided to read Nancy Drew. This is something that is new. I know that there have been like children's graphic novels that are kind of somewhat related to Nancy Drew but this one is new and it is mystery and I do not read a lot of comics or manga or graphic novels that are related to mystery. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. Apparently Nancy Drew has left her hometown and something happens that draws her back to her hometown and she has to figure out whether her old friends are still her friends and who's her enemy and I guess whoever um, is trying to kill her because that's something that she's battling with. All right, y'all, so that is it. Those are all of the comics, graphic novels, and manga that I will be reading for the uh, panelathon. I'm really excited to start this. Hopefully, this video goes up before midnight. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping it will. Um, but I'm really excited to participate. Let me know in the comments below if you're participating, and if you are, let me know what you're reading. If you have any questions about these comics or any uh, questions about comics, graphic novels, and manga, if you want any recommendations, if you want me to do a recommendation video, let me know in the description box below. As always, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content from me, make sure you click the subscribe button. All of my social media links are down below in the description box, and hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Look forward to participating in this readathon. Bye.